Happy New Year everybody and welcome to the first video of the new tech slash dev pills series. Today we are going to talk about a very useful npm package that we can use to monitor the status of the dependencies in our package.json file. The package.json file as you might know is the one that contains all of our node.js dependencies no matter if we use those in gulp or in node.js itself. Let's directly jump to the shell, we'll open our git bash, here we go, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'll install npm check, so npm install, if you don't see my monitor I'll just zoom that a little, npm install minus g because this is a global package that we run from the command line, npm dash check, so I run this command and as I have already the tool, I won't wait for the output. Anyway, uh, as usual, when you install an npm dependency, you have the output. So what I have to do once I have npm check, I have to go into my project folder. I'm already here. As you can see in this project folder, I have a package JSON. If you want to check that, we can do that very quickly, but I won't stop on it. I have a, a tons of dependencies, really. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run the npm-check command and press enter. As you can see, we have now the output produced by npm check. And if we scroll up, we can start analyzing that. So the output tells us the status of each one of the dependencies we have in our package.json, as I said. And for each one of them, it says if there is a major version available. So you can see here, major up major update available and also gives us the command that we can run in order to update the version to the latest. In the same way it's telling me to update kernel Redis and keep an eye on this one Firebase. It tells me there's a new version, version 3.64, while I have 3.62 but also it's asking are you sure you're still using Firebase man because I never find uh, required Firebase and I didn't find anything like an import in your code. Okay, this is a very useful information and in case uh, this is true, you can run npm and install and get rid of Firebase, but don't trust npm check uh, like uh, anything, really check your code because you might be using something in Gulp, for example, like uh, Gulp load plugins and, fire, and the npm check might not notice that you're actually using that dependency even though there's not an explicit require. So once you realize that effectively you're not using a dependency, feel free to remove it. That's the only hint I want to give you guys. Uh, other than that, as I said, there are lots of things like missing dependencies. It tells you, hey man, you have Galconet in your package.json, but you didn't install it, so please do. And lots of other outputs. It's very, very useful. I recommend you guys to start using that as of today. But another thing I want to show you, even though Git Bash is not interactive, uh, there's an interactive way of uh, invoking npm check and it's npm check dash u. What happens if I use this mode? I won't have the usual output but a high level list of tasks which I can pick from. Uh, so basically for example, you remember gulp connect was missing and now I can move with the arrows, select, uh, uh, you see the angular bracket here, select the gulp connect and if I press space it will automatically apply the recommended action, which in this specific case is to install the plugin. So if you are more a fan of, a, of the interactive uh, method, please use it. I prefer the manual one because uh, it lets me have more control over what I'm doing. So just to recap, npm check, you can install that from the npm package manager. It's very useful to monitor your package.json dependencies status.